Well, look at that. We're live. Awesome. Now, if my laptop catches up, we're going to be doing really, really good. Or if I catch up. And come on, laptop. And laptop's thinking. Nate Jackson, how are you? RDNT, good day. My laptop's really thinking. Why would it? It chooses 7 o'clock at night to stop thinking. I wish I could do that. I really do. It's so much easier. Come on, you silly thing. Refresh. Nope, that didn't do nothing. Well, I'll come back to that in a minute. Now I'm looking way over here and you guys can't even see me. Union Central System, how are you? William Sullivan. New Ferris Railroad, Mr. John Dilly, how are you? Chazco, the winner of our last prize that we had. Stu Structures, good evening, sir. Jonathan Davenport, Simon, Derby City Rail Production, Mr. Ron Pisco, S.P. Smith Mount, that's way over there. Man, do I need to get this laptop going. Come on, you silly thing. And Mr. Container Man says he's lurking. Eh, all right, maybe I wasn't supposed to say that then. I'm not sure. I guess if you're lurking in the background, I'm not supposed to say anything. Mr. TSG, look, the light's out. See, you can see it, but there's no light bulb. There's no there's no light going, but I got lots going. I got eight, but eight light bulbs flashing on my face right now. Very bright. Looking in this direction, I'm almost staring right at four light bulbs. It's kind of crazy. So, and... Schooley River Valley, how are you? Gatha Haynes, good day, sir. Southern 207 Hobbies has popped in. And it's another good day to throw my laptop out the window. That's what I think it is. Could be anyway. Oh, look, I'm live. Yay! I'm glad I'm not this slow. And nothing out of you guys. <laughs> hey, I can see. Yippee! EJ and E. Jeff's in here popping in saying hi. And gonna look extra hot with that wig tonight, baby. All about the Super Chats, guys. Three different wigs. Uh, we'll see how far we get with them. For the right Super Chat, might even wear all three. Well, maybe not, so. And I got Mr. Lauren from OVR Trains in here, and him and I are going to be texting a little bit tonight because I've got two prizes to give away tonight. So I'm going to be throwing a number out there for you guys, and Lauren's going to be picking a number, but that's later on, not right now. So you guys got to stick around for that. Two prizes to give away tonight, not just one. So should be fun. Mr. Toy Man, 2448 Toy Man's in the house, and John. Valley Brook Model Railway. How are you, bud? All the way from over the pond. And we got Brady Skull. Kakusing Valley Central Railroad. And how are you doing, bud? I'm doing pretty good, actually. Here's OVR Trains right there saying hi to a few people, including me. Hey. And hi, Brick Builder 11. How you doing? Guys, if you haven't if you see some names in this chat that uh, you're not used to seeing, just click on their names, check them out, put them in a, open them up in like in a, in a different tab type thing, and after this stream, you can go check them out. If you like what they got, subscribe to them. Only hit the bell on my channel though. That way, when I do stuff, you get to know when I'm doing it. Everybody else can wait. Ron Brights, how are you? And Mr. Dave Piper, Leisure Line Railroad. William Sullivan, new Ferris Railroad is cool, cool, cool. And we got Corey Page popping in saying hello. And Mr. Ron Piskel is already in there with the links. There's the dining car video, guys. If you want to get in on that Steamtown dining car extraordinaire chance of a lifetime, to me it's going to be anyway because I'm pretty sure I'm only going to do a dining car experience once in my life. And I'd love to do it with all you guys that are coming to Steamtown. So... If you want to have a meal in a fully restored Erie and Lackawanna dining car from, I think it's 1965, just check out that link there they've thrown up, sign up, 
it's 75 bucks a plate, but that's not very much really. If you really think about it, like what do we spend on our hobby alone? And we're getting a chance to go hang out with a bunch of model railroaders, other YouTubers, and have an hour and a half, two hour dinner together on a rail car. Why not? And then, of course, we can check out their little rail yard that they've got too. They've got other cars in there and a couple locomotives too, I think. So I'm going to be asking if we can get access to the cabs of the locomotive. Now, me saying that, I'm not promising anything. I'm just saying, I want to get on the cab of a locomotive. I think they're GP38s. So <laughs> I'm a drooling just a little bit. You know how I'm saying. And why is Roy not a mod anymore? I, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask YouTube that. Every once in a while, YouTube acts up. So, BNSF6951 is in here saying hi. Good day, brother. Hastings BNSF N Scale Modeler saying hi. Mr. Dave Atkins has popped in all the way from Kamloops. We're pretty much worldwide tonight. That is awesome. And, of course, it only says there's 37 people in here. Holy jumping. I thought there'd be so much more the way that chat's just been flying by here. The P link does not work. So whatever the P link is, whichever one, oh, the Patreon link. Well, basically the way the Patreon just kind of works of patreon.com backslash sparky107107. So, and that's if you want to get involved and help out the Wednesday night live chat. I'm going right off script here because my moderators are just all over these links. So, but we'll get to that stuff right now. And I don't, think I've seen Nancy in here yet, but there's Mr. Redbird Tony, 2010. There's Container Man 68's not lurking anymore. Oh, he found out he's not a moderator. Uh-oh. Well, my text might start going off soon. Chazco, no wig, please. Just a smile and a laugh. <laughs> I can do that, buddy. I'm always good for Chazco's smiles and laughs. That's awesome, buddy. Thanks very much. That is so cool. And appreciate not making me put the wig on. All these light bulbs in here I'd be like sweating in two seconds so but like I said I haven't seen Nancy in here yet Nancy Jones and I have heard through the grapevine that her channel has come up on a little bit of a milestone she's got over a thousand subscribers which you need to be monetized but the other thing you need to be monetized is your watch time has to be like way up there through the roof and she finally got there so Nancy Jones can now put out some videos with monetize, monetization on it. Now that I'm going to learn how to talk. And hey, if you're watching Nancy Jones videos and a little commercial pops up, watch the whole thing. Why not? She doesn't get a lot of money for it. Two, three cents. That's it. So understand that, guys. When a video's popped up on somebody's channel, they're not making a mint. They're not getting rich. Nothing like that. But it's 30 seconds. Just let it play through. Take a drink, do something for 30 seconds, just let it go. And that, like I said, that's anybody's channel. But Nancy Jones, I just got to say right here, congratulations to you for hitting that milestone here on YouTube. It's a pretty big feat to get to. Very hard to get to, actually, with all those watch minutes. So that's awesome that you did it. Uh, this really does look a lot better. Well, thank you very much, John. I kind of think it does, too. And it's really not as hot as I thought it would be, so. Hot Rod. Rodney25. She's over in Gaffa's chat. Well, that's okay. They do like their live streaming and their, their hangouts, so that's cool. So where did we get to? Well, I got the Nancy Jones thing. Woo! Got sticky notes. I made, I made up a list of stuff I want to talk about, and then I turn around and I throw sticky notes all over it. Whatever. So... <laughs> So we're up to 41 people in the house. That's kind of cool. More the merrier. So hit that like button, guys. Like I said, hit the bell if you want. I don't know if the bell actually really works or anything else. So Valley Brook Model Railway. Five something. I don't know what a little L is. Maybe it's pence. Pounds? Hey, there he is. Popping up on the screen. That is so cool, buddy. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you the, I'll give you the original one. Ha-ha! There we go. I can be a blonde for a little bit. But there you go, guys, from across the pond in the UK, Valley Brook Model Railway. He's got a pretty good channel out, and he's part of the YouTube 
model railroad club so he can throw that up there too if he wants it's a facebook group and i'm part of that it's pretty cool and over in august i'm going to be popping over there and saying hi to a bunch of them so i'm sure it'll be on their facebook group a little bit and hit that button right there maybe it'll come back who knows i'm gone you're lagging yeah a little bit I'm even lagging for myself a little bit. So hopefully it clears up. If it lags a little bit too much, just hit the F5 button. And what that's supposed to do is close off any cookies and stuff that you guys got in the background. I get them every once in a while too. So, And then, of course, YouTube every once in a while messes up pretty bad too. So popping out for a bit. Well, take care, John. It's cool that you popped in and checked out the lights. I'm sure you and I will talk in a bit. Paddle in Scientist UFO Builder. He's buffering too. Everybody's doing the buffering thing. He is lagging for me. So I could hit F5 and see what it does. Hopefully it doesn't do too much though. And you're freezing up. So like I said guys, I can only control my internet and I know I am got two computers on it right now that's about it and my phone so it's the same as always not sure why it starts lagging hopefully it catches up so but I can always stop the stream and restart it if it's way too bad it's the wig the internet doesn't like it oh they don't like the blonde one well we can take that one off for a little bit anyway so there we go are we still buffering are we back I will fix your leg and you got a computer, Sparky. I will fix your leg and you got a computer, Sparky. I don't get that. Uh, unless, of course, I will fix your lag and you can... Uh, I'll leave that one alone. Frozen still. I'm on my iPad. Still frozen. So let me stop this and we'll restart it. How's that? So I put that up in the chat that I can restart. Anybody else says yes, or if it's okay now, just let me know. Airstream is frozen. At least we can hear you. Sparky hit F5. Boom! <laughs> uh, it's supposed to just get rid of all the background stuff. So We got Hans in here. Mike Thomas has popped in. UK diesel and electric railway modeling. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoy the show. Are we still doing the buffering thing? Because mine came back. So there we go. That's good. Maybe it was the wig. <laughs> I broke the camera. Oh, no. And Vinny's. Oh, that's still from a while ago. So hopefully we're okay now. Watching the stream from the hotel editing, eating ice cream. That's not fair. Now I want ice cream. Last two days of two-week rotation. Back to trains. That sounds like a job and a half. There it is. It's working. Good. No, no, no. It's good now. Okay, then we'll leave it. Had to watch a commercial. Yeah, that kind of happens every once in a while. I don't know why they put commercials on live streams. It's kind of silly. So. so we'll leave it at that. But <laughs> I love all the people that got a lot of my moderators got my cell phone number. So they like to text me and let me know what's going on anyway. So. But let me know again in the chat if it does go for a crap. And like I said, there's really nothing I can do about it. A lot of the times, even Wilmer the other day had a heck of a time getting things going. So, and it was one reason why I kind of picked 7 o'clock is, like, if anybody knows anything about your internet provider, they go into a hub, and then from that hub they branch off, and then from those branches they branch off to more houses. So you could have five or six different houses on your one line, so I picked about 7 o'clock because even watching mine, it kind of lags a little bit. More people are off the internet, I guess. So, but It is the wig. Well, we won't do the blonde one again if the, someone does the super chat thing. So, but I do want to bring up, of course, the dining car experience. Here it is right here. We have 22 people all signed up for it. 
and haven't seen Ralph Greenwood in here yet, but what Ralph Greenwood did last week in the Super Chat is he threw up a $75 Super Chat and said that was to feed a model railroader at Steamtown in the dining car. So the one thing I'm going to suggest, guys, is if you do do a Super Chat and you want it to go towards the dining car experience to help somebody that can't really afford it. Now, I do have kind of one person in mind. He has he has a wife and two kids, and they're all coming. And I would love for this person and his family to show up at the dining car, but I'm pretty sure he can't afford 300 bucks American. So what I'm saying is if you guys do do a super chat and you put on that super chat, this goes to feed a model railroader or the dining car experience or anything about the dining car, that money completely goes into a pot. And when it gets close to the dining car, we'll sign up a couple people that can't really afford it. So that's just this community helping out this community a little bit more for people that can make it to Steamtown, want to do the dining car experience, but maybe can't afford it due to family size and so on and so forth. So like I said, if you guys think that's a good idea, just say that in the super chats and that's where that money will go completely. So, but 22 people so far have signed up and this video has been up for about a week and a half. So if you are interested in going to Steamtown and getting involved with the dining car experience, having a meal with the rest of us, head over to that video that Ron Pisco is throwing up there and Vinny and get all signed up and I'll get your name on the list. And you guys got to see everybody that was on the list in there. So that's pretty cool. So hey, if you want to have a meal sitting close to them, next to them, there's a perfect opportunity right there. So, but that's the dining car experience. I'm hoping to fill it. We need 48 people to fill that. We got the 22. I got a couple maybe people, but they haven't even said anything on the video yet. So we'll see how that goes. So, but <coughs> I just do want a special thank you to my Patreons that I have. I have seven Patreons as of now. I got a brand new one a couple days ago. And what the Patreons and the Patreon page does do for me is it helps out with nothing else but this Wednesday night live chat. It helps buy products. It helps me buy more products so I can give them away with, to you guys in contests. And at some point tonight, we are going to be coloring the diorama, the rocks, and there is Earth Colors kits, but I have two of them because I have my own paints that I'm going to use on the rocks. So I'm not even going to open these up. But they've got yellow ochre, burnt umber, black, raw umber, stone gray, slate gray, white, and concrete. So guys, some point tonight, I'm going to give away not one, but two of these. So two people here in the chat tonight are actually going to win those right there. So stick around. And at some point, and I'm not going to tell you is when, but at some point, and it doesn't matter where you live, I'll ship them to you. You win it, you'll get it. So, but that's all thanks to the Patreons that I've got and the Patreons that I do have. And you can check them out. They're on my channel for Patreon. I've got Anthony, John Dilly, Hot Rod Rodney, Mr. Ron Piskel, Roy Smith, Roy Hardwick, and brand new to the Patreon group, Mr. Chazco. So big thank you that I want to say right here publicly to you guys right now is thank you very much for taking part in the Patreon and making those two prizes tonight available for everybody in the chat to win. But the one thing that I do want to say, Roy Hardwick, Container Man 68. What a guy. He is really big in our community. He gives to as many people as he can. Um, River Valley Railroad, he took a trip down there and, and bought him some equipment for his camera. He's helped me out with my flood when I had it. He's met me on my trip to Arizona. Just all around friend to so many other people. Um, 2448 Toy Man has had encounters with him at Christmas time. 
He is amazing. He's just, everybody calls him Santa Roy because he sends out great gifts to all his friends. So I just, I wanted to do a special thank out, thank you to Container Man 68, which is Roy Hardwick. And guys, even do it right now. If you're not subscribed to Container Man 68, I'm sure they're throwing his link up there in the chat. I'm sure Container Man 68 can even say hi a couple times. Click on it. Go check out his channel. Subscribe to him. He's got N scale, he's got HO scale, and he drives a transport truck. Someday, he's going to put an N scale layout in his truck. Someday. He keeps saying he's going to do it anyway. He hasn't done it yet, but he's going to do it. And he does live feeds from his truck, so you can drive around with him, talk to him all the time. So, Nancy Jones, how are you, my dear? So, that's just the channel I'd really, really like to shout out tonight. It's Container Man 68 one of my Patreons. And that's what I'm going to do for my Patreons is first Wednesday of every month. One of my Patreons is going to get a prize for me. So from Otter Valley Railroad, I am going to give Mr. Roy Hardwick a $50 gift certificate. So Roy, just send me a text message or a Facebook message. I need your email address. And buddy, I'll get that sent to you tomorrow. But just for being a Patreon... I'm going to send you 50 bucks from Otter Valley Railroad, gift certificate. John Dilly won it last month. You get it this month, bud. And that's just because you're so big in the community. You help out so many people. And I just want everybody to know who you are and subscribe to you. So stop if I'm getting teary-eyed. Nah, no, you're not because you're probably still driving. So, <laughs> But there he is, guys, Container Man 68 Like I said, check him out. There's 53 people in here. I'm sure a couple of you don't know who he is. So. Get to know him. He's awesome. That's all I can really say about that. And like I said, if you are doing a super chat tonight, you want to go, want your money to go to the dining car, just like we got right now. RDNT throwing 20 bucks up for the dining car fund. So what I'm going to do with that right off the bat is I'm going to put your name on this list. RDNT 20 bucks. Towards the dining car fund. That is awesome. Guys, that's that's what I like right there. That is this community, helping out this community. And the money that... I can't get into this one. There we go. But the money that you guys throw me, that's that you guys say is for the dining car experience, here it is. Okay? YouTube takes 30% of that right off the bat. But you know what? You guys gave 20 bucks for that. And Ralph Greenwood, Greenwood gave 75 bucks last week. No 30% off that. What those super chats say is what I'm going to put towards that dining car experience for people. So it's going to be 100% no matter what. Because I want, I want as many people to enjoy Steamtown and many that dining car experience. I think that's going to be awesome. So thank you very much, RDMT. That is awesome. Because I can't do the not bad thing. So it's awesome for helping out. Thank you very much. So, and I was just about to say that too. If you guys want to help out, super chat it. Make sure you throw dining car experience up there in the super chat. That's where that money's going to go. Right there, 100% of it. So, that's gone. How far down my list did I get? First Wednesday we did that one. And, yeah. And, yeah. And, yep, yep, so I said check out my Patreon page, that's for the Wednesday Night Live Streams, and if you want to help out offset the cost of Steamtown, i just in the process of sending some fees money to them, because apparently if you want to take out permits and stuff, you have to pay a fee, so that's fine, that's, that's, that's good, it all goes to a good cause, they restore steam locomotives and really cheap rides they're called caboose hops so they get the old steam locomotives or diesels going a couple cabooses on there you hop in those Roy Smith actually has a video he was in one and did one so went back and forth so that's kinda cool and yeah that was that's my patron or not my patreon page that's the uh, my PayPal page goes completely to Steamtown. So that's, like I said, helps offset the uh, 
costs and the overhead for some of that stuff. Some of that stuff, like I said, it's going to be free to you guys. It's free to get into Steamtown, and it's free to go to Horseshoe Curve. But, like I said, some of the things that I'm trying to get opened up for everybody does have a fee to it. And uh, was my idea, so I guess I'm dishing out the fee. So if you guys want to help out, like I said, that's the PayPal link that's going up there. Help me out that way, and uh, I'm not rich by any means, but I'm certainly going to be broke after May, May 18th. <laughs> But, hey, it's going to be all worth it because I am going to have a blast. That's going to be so much fun. And live chats. So we got Thursday. We got Hot Rod Rodney 25, who is in here saying hi to people. And I can't see nothing through these glasses, just so you guys know. And mine's buffering on my end. I hope you guys are okay. Buffering here, too. Oh, dear. Here we go again. It's the wigs. It's got to be the wigs. I'm taking off the wig. Okay, guys, I moved the camera, restarted the stream. Not sure if it's the same stream or not. Hopefully it is. It says I got 46 people in here still. So, stream had now crashed. Am I back? Gotta love cell phones. <laughs> okay, where are we here? Oh, no, offline. Better now. There, that's better. So, I moved my camera over this way, so now I got to kind of stare into space and then stare over here. But so I restarted it. I do know now that I can actually end the stream, close it right off, and then restart it again, and everything comes back to normal. I come right back into my stream. That's kind of cool. Nice to know. Hopefully, I don't have to do that again too much. So, but should be better now. Maybe. My laptop always says that it's buffering, so that really doesn't tell me much. Uh, I don't have any red symbols over there right now, so we might be okay. Car wreck. I want to see the crash. No way. He is back. That's good. We good now? That's good. So, like I said, I'll just go through that again. We got the live chats. Thursday, Hot Rod Rodney 25. Friday, we got BNSF 6951. Friday and Saturday nights, we got 2448 Toy Man. And this, on Track Tuesday, coming up next week, Redbird Tony 2010. So, guys, check that out. And I'm just going to toss this off to the side because what I really want to get to is that diorama. So I'm going to move things out of the way for me. Probably drop something on the floor. Who knows? But tonight, I want to paint it. So I was going to have to move the camera anyway for you. Now, one thing I have done for you guys, well, I did to myself, for myself, is I put the kind of river into it because we're going to have a waterfall go down whoop, over here, waterfall down and into the water. So that's all going to be like a little pond stream type of thing. Some people don't like how I do that. It's pink foam and I just take a blowtorch and very slowly, without actually touching it with the flame, I melt into the foam. I like the aspect, or the part. It looks like there's even rocks in the bottom of it already. So that's just how I do something. I do not recommend that doing that at all, unless it's adult supervision. And I do mean adult, so even if you're 50 years old, get your mom and pa in there with you to tell you that you're crazy and don't do that. So... Here is our diorama. Here is our rocks. And this is what I want to paint today. Going through this. And I don't know if Woodland Scenic started this method or not. But it's called leopard spotting. So you take... Three or four colors of your paint, depending on what you want to do. I got burnt umber. Right there. We got... Some black, right there. We got stone gray, right, right, ah, we'll go, right there. Probably not going to use the stone gray. And we've got 
Yellow Ochre. And we've got Raw Umber. Well, can't see it up there. So there we go. We got four different colors. Now, you don't just use the paint like this. You got to water it down. And most channels and places and even the Woodland Scenics, 1 to 16. So one drop of this to 16 drops of water. You guys know how I work. I don't measure nothing. Not a thing. So I'm going to take our yellow ochre just because I, I figure you got to start with the lightest color first, right? And I got these little jars here. And they got lids on them. And I got a brand new paintbrush. So we're going to take this and this and this. We're going to take this, pop the lid off it. We're going to take some of this paint. Hopefully it's good paint. It's probably been sitting here for like three years. Don't think so. You can, you can outside or a wall ventilated room. Well, yeah, if you, if you guys are talking about burning the uh, foam, definitely take it outside. Because if you do get the flame too close to that, she's going to go up in flames all right. So a couple drops of this paint. Boink. That's probably way too much, but who knows. Oh, yeah, paint all over the place already. Yes, I painted my white table. That's awesome. Where did I put the water? Okay, so I'm not watching the chat too much. I'm going to look at it every once in a while, but take some water. What do you think? Is that 16 to 1? You see a big gob down there. See some water? And I like these things. I got these at the dollar store. Just take them, close them up, make sure your finger's still on it, and shake. Oh, sugar. Hold it tighter, and then shake it. It's still going to drip all over the place. Pfft. See, you spend a buck on something, you get a dollar's worth of material. So what do you expect? Ron's going to shoot me if I get paint on his shirt. Okay, so I shook that up because I don't like mixing things. I just like shaking the crap out of it. And leopard spotting. The way I understand it, take it and just go boop, 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 all over the place. No rhyme or reason about it. You just do it. And I'm looking from the top down. So, of course, you guys see better than I do. You want it darker in spots? Hit it a couple times. Don't worry about the runoff. Because you can always wipe it off later. Now, that's one reason why I like getting these. Is now I got this. And I can save it. Because it's all sealed up again. Yippee! So that's the yellow. Should have done the top too, actually. I bet you I'm going to do the top. Why not? Doesn't hurt to do the top. If I don't like it, I just cover it in grass. So There we go. Voila. So that was yellow. That's all I'm going to call it. Yellow. Yellow ochre. See, I would have called it burnt yellow. So that's that one. Like I said, start with the lightest colors first. Because the darker colors are going to cover it up a little bit. So... What would the next color be? We got raw umber or burnt umber. I'm going to go with burnt. Burnt's probably lighter than raw. And Chad Martin, Panama Roy, Matt Slade's in here. Good day to you, sir. How are you? Now, shook this up. Throw that in there a little bit. Now, less paint, more water. Just more watered down paint. But it'll probably flow better. There we go. Close it. Wonder if this one goes tighter. Shake, shake. See? Well, sort of. As long as it's not getting on my computer, we're okay. Dwing. Like I said, I've heard this is called leopard spotting. So you just take it and fill in some of the spots. You can go over the yellow that you did. This is a very light color, though.
Now, this shouldn't take very long. I wouldn't think. It's only four different colors. Now, the waterfall is going to go right there. So I kind of sort of want to keep it all one tone. And what I really like about doing rocks is you can just make a mess because it's just water. A little bit of paint in it, not much. And you come back with a paper towel afterwards, clean it all up, and never even knew we were there. So Hastings BNSF Nscaler just missed half the stream trying to diagnose why I suddenly can't do a super chat on my iPhone. My iPhone is the same way. Um, it's kind of weird. The quickest way to explain the iPhone that I have I went from a 6 to an 8 and when they downloaded all the stuff that was on my 6 onto my 8, what happened is somehow a code, a 4 number code got put into it. Now I can't unlock certain parts of my phone because there's this 4 letter or 4 number code in there that I never put on my phone. But to get that code off there you have to take your phone to Apple and they have to delete the whole system and start it over, and you lost everything. So is it worth it? We got Valley Brook Model Railroad doing 10, some, 10 pounds. I'm going to say 10 pounds for the dining car experience. So I'm going to throw that down here right now. Valley Brook Railroad. Helping out model railroaders. Like I said, guys, this is going to be awesome. Community help. That's what I love so much about this community is just the fact that they all get together and help each other out. What more can you ask for? We're not doing stone grade tonight. You know what? I did say I was going to give two of these kits away. And the way this internet's been acting tonight. So I like to give kits away. And there's two of them. The way I like to do this and uh, Lauren, you can send me a text right now, five times, my friend. And I'm going to put my phone right here so you guys can see my phone. I'm not going to touch it. So OVR Trains, the store. So if you go to his channel, it's got it's a link to a store. That's where I get a lot of my products, and that's where a lot of these uh, prizes are coming from is that store. So like I said, I have two of them. So the way we do my contest is... Everybody in the chat can play, no matter what. You can guess as many times as you want. Doesn't matter, but I need a number from you guys, 1 to 65. So in between 1 and 65, I'm going to pick one number. And Lorne, you just heard text me, he's going to pick the other number. So I am going to pick a number in between 1 and 65. Back you guys up just a little bit, maybe. 1 and 65. Let's see what number can I do. Now I got to check to make sure it's not the same number he did. Okay, we're different. So there is going to be two of these. So guys, there's the green paper. There's my phone. Not going to touch them. The numbers are set. I need, and there's two of them. So two people tonight are going to win these prizes. Earth color kits. These are paint kits. So two people tonight, we need two numbers in between 1 and 60, what did I say? Anyway, in between 1 and 65, what the heck? Because my number's in between 1 and 65, I know that much. So <coughs> and now I need a drink because if I'm going to say all these numbers out loud, like an auctioneer. But there's how you play right there, guys. Just guess a number in between 1 and 65. Guess as many times as you want. And the first person that guessed that number and his number, one person's going to get this kit. The other person's going to get this kit. So two prizes tonight. The number in between 1 and 65. And the chat's just going crazy. I love it. Valley Brook Model Railway 64, Barnabas Junction Model Railway. Good day. How are you, sir? 661. You're close. You might want to go down a little bit, though. Maybe I meant 61, though. You'll have to retype it, though. I can't. I can't. Can't make a leeway on that one. Gaffa Haynes says 24. 
Valley Brook again at 44. Mike Thomas at 36. Simons coming in at 34. We got Drew Steele, 69, saying 33. Hot Rod Rodney, 25, at 65. And sorry about that, guys. Corey Page at 21. Mike Thomas coming back at 15. Ron Piscal at 4. North American Trains, 29. See, this is a good time for the chat not to freeze. I'll tell you that much. Holy cow. Narrow-minded, 1. 35. Chasco, 64. And wow, this chat's just flying along, and I haven't seen my number yet. I know that much. And, oh, Gaffey Haynes at 14, Valley Brook again at 12, Chasco at 15, JT1 at 44. There we go. Chad Martin, true. I don't know if true's a number, though. You mean like a true number to a, a prime number, maybe? So you just try to guess like half the numbers all at once? That's a good trick, though. Stu Structures coming in at 33, North American Trains at 14, the Southern 207 Hobbies at 62, North American Trains again at 37, Christopher Hall, how are you at 32, EJ and E Jeff at 11, and wow guys, I still haven't seen my number but I haven't been looking at the chat. Now the whole thing is guys, it's the first person that guessed the number. So. One of these kits is going to the first person that guessed the number I picked. So the first person tonight that guessed number 20 gets this kit right here. And these are unopened kits, not opened at all, still taped on the ends. We're going to get all these different paints. It's a learning kit, so it comes with instructions and directions. And I don't know, might even have a brush in there. Ooh. Eight earth colors, liquid pigment bottles, one foam brush, and one palette. So, whoever guessed number 21st, you get this one. Now, because I was giving away two tonight, I asked Lauren from Otter Valley OVR Trains to guess a number. Or throw a number out here. This is the number he had to guess to win this one. His number is number 62. So the first person that guessed 62, and I know who he thinks guessed first, but I can't go by that because I have to go by my chat later on. And I check mine tomorrow morning when YouTube gets it all synced up properly. And then I'll go through and I'll check out the live chat. And I actually watch it three times when it gets to this part of the video. So person that first guessed number 62, is Lauren's pick. You won the other one. So two prizes tonight. I think that's kind of cool. Now I can't do that all the time guys. Two prizes. The only reason why I've got two prizes this time is one kit I'm supposed to use on the diorama. One kit I'm trying to give away. Well I'm using my own paints tonight because I have all the paint colors that are in these kits. No sense in using one if I already got them. So we'll go with that. Two kits tonight. Two people, number 62, number 20. Those are the lucky winners. And, of course, people always have to text me and tell me who they see the, well, saw one. But I'm still not going to say it. I learned my lesson on that one. So <laughs> I, I announced a winner one time. I think it was on my first one that I did. And it, that person wasn't the winner. I felt so bad afterwards because they missed it by, like, three comments. It was, I, I felt like crap afterwards. So... But we're almost done this diorama, guys, and not sure how much later I went, but we're going to go with the burnt umber next. Shake it up. Couple, couple drops in there. Gandhi. All right, who drank all my water? There it is. Do, 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 do. And we're going to make this one a little bit darker so there's less water in this one. More paint. And sure, this one seals up perfectly. That's awesome. Container Man 68, if you're talking about your $50, $55 Super Chat, sir, I did get it. 
Yes, sir, we did. So again, with this, you just go over what you had before. Now, I'm looking over from the top, so I can't see the, all the parts I missed. So I will have to come back through the week and touch this up, which is a good thing these things seal up airtight then. And I'm still going to have paint later. Now, it doesn't matter if you're going over the colors that you've done already. Did I get it all? Oh, there's a spot right there. Hold on. See, you guys can't see up my nose this way anyway. That doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure I like that spot. That spot. Yeah. There. So that's the three colors I used. Now there's one more thing you're going to do to this to bring it all together. Make it all look proper. Make it all blend in together. So you're going to take your black paint, shake it up nice, and we're just going to put a little bit of black paint in there. Not very much. Feel like a mad scientist. As long as I don't drink it, though, we're all right. Don't drink the paints, man. Oh, good. This one's sealed up, too. There we go. This one's black with lots of water. So it's a very, very thin coloring. And you just take this one and you go over everything. Right from the top, let it all drip down. Get my hands out of the way so you can see it. I wish I could actually, you guys would have a much easier time because you're doing it from the front so you see what you're doing. Hopefully it's looking all right though. Now you thin this out a little bit more than the rest of them because you want the black just to kind of highlight cracks and crevices and If you want, you can even take it and just let it run down itself. How'd that look? And it naturally finds all the cracks for you. Try to get the very, very bottom at least. So through the week, I'm going to come back and probably touch this up a little bit. Make sure it kind of sort of looks like it's supposed to. And the yellow on top, it's just plaster cloth. So I think I'm going to end up actually putting grass and stuff up there. And some 16-year-olds out there with his mom's car. Must be nice. Don't have to worry about buying the tires. So that pretty much does it for leopard spotting. Whew. That wasn't too bad. I didn't make too big of a mess. I don't think I got any paint on it. Sure. So that's good. So try. What do you guys think of that? Kind of turned out right, right in here. I would mind a little more black. So maybe I'll get that touched up later. Uh, let me give you guys a look. Shaky cam. I don't know. I got something caught on the cord, so let's see if we can get the other side. So it didn't turn out too bad. Where the waterfall is going to go. Whoop, back up, dummy. Where the waterfall is going to go. Other way. Why are cameras always backwards when you're looking at them on a screen? That's crazy. So, waterfall is going to go in here. 
into the pond. So I think next week we're actually going to work on the pond area and get that done and the water and the waterfall. That's another learning kit. So we'll bring that all out. And you guys, I, I don't look at these kits before Wednesday. And I think you guys know that. So it'll be the first time me ever doing a waterfall, that's for sure. So I have no idea how to do it. I've seen a couple videos. I saw Redbird Tony did a waterfall on his. And it looked like you took their stuff and you put it on like wax paper or something. So hopefully all that stuff's in it. I'm going to try to move the camera back where it was when we were freezing all the time. Hopefully these don't freeze though. Whee! There we go. How are we doing? So that's it for the diorama. I hope that's leopard spotting, guys. It's watered down paints. Use the colors that you want. If you, depending on the area that you live, there's red rocks like Sedona. Uh, in Canada, you got more of a gray rock for the Rocky Mountains and stuff like that, with white on top, of course, the snow. And uh, you got slate, so you got you can do like a blue and a gray, a very very light blue and a gray. And maybe even a red pigment in the in like a slate. Like I said, take take a look around. Use Google Earth or Google Maps or something like that. Or just when you're out driving around someplace, look at the rock formations and stuff around you and what colors they are. Like I said, in Canada, it's more gray, dark gray, and black. Eh, I wanted the yellow and red kind of thing in it, more of a desert tone, I guess it is. So little more colorful for this one so there's that one I'm gonna touch down the yellow on this during the week not I don't like the yellow myself so maybe that was just a little too much paint and I got a paint splot right in the middle of my screen right on my cheek right there right there on my cheek and of course it's dried so I'm gonna have to clean my screen now so but how many of you guys in the chat have actually tried leopard spotting? There's 65 people in here. Or if you got a different technique for doing rock formations and painting rocks and stuff, throw it up in the chat and let us know. And OVR Trains, thank you very much, sir, for participating and picking that number of 62. That was awesome. I kind of like doing that. Me picking one number and you picking the other. That I don't know. To me, it was a little more entertaining. But then my phone started going crazy along with the chat so I missed half the chat I like when I'm an auctioneer on there too try to really call out all those numbers and everything but yeah next time I guess two prices is almost too much but guys if you like that kind of stuff like I said check out the patreon page some of it's only like I only do monthly patreon I don't do per video like some people do so I don't I don't think that's fair personally doing a per video I could turn around and put six videos up in a, in a week, right? That's not, no, that's not cool at all, I don't think. So for five bucks, you can be, become part of the Patreon and get in on the first Wednesday of every every month. I do a special shout out to a Patreon of mine. Could be you next time, so who knows? And like I said, this week was Container Man 68, or this month. So like I said, check him out, guys. He's awesome to the community. Really helps out people and just... Gives, gives, gives. That's he's got. He, I don't know. He doesn't have a taking bone in his is in his body, but he gives to everybody and ev anything that he's got. He gives like. Anyway, enough said about Container Man sixty eight. You go check him out yourself. You guys will figure it out and, and see for yourself. So, Roy from Panama, you can touch it up later and until you're completely satisfied with it. Yeah, and that's that's what I'm gonna do with this project like I'm trying to give the basics of the learning kits with the rock molds it was kind of don't do it this way because and I'm sorry about last week I got a little confluffered the whole family ended up in here and I just wasn't mindset for that so I don't know I am I am actually a shy person in person a shy person in person but here on camera and YouTube events and stuff like that I don't know why I just I'm not as shy as I normally am. Like, if I go to a dance or a party or something, I'm usually the guy over there in the corner dancing by myself, looking the wrong way, of course. So, just saying. But, thanks for what you do, Sparky. You're welcome, sir. Like I said, hopefully it helps out somebody that's even some people that are in the hobby for a long time. Maybe it's a new technique that they've never seen, calling me messing up your layout. I don't know. <laughs> 
but some of them are new kits to me. Like I said, the waterfall is going to be brand new to me. I've never done one. I've only seen it done once, and that was uh, here on YouTube. So, Jack Jack, how are you, bud? And Jack Jack, you guys, this isn't a special shout out by anything, but Jack Jack has always said he's never ever going to put scenery on his layout. Never. And all of a sudden, he throws up a video today saying he's going to do scenery on his layout. I don't believe him. He's still got time to back out. So I think he's just doing it so everybody will tune in on this weekend. And he's just going to run trains. He might dump some ballast somewhere. But there's not no grass is going down. No trees. He's not going to do it. So will you be bringing your YouTube t-shirt with you when you visit the UK? I will be wearing my t-shirts when I come over there. If you guys want me to bring some of my t-shirts over. Um, I'm also looking into the Teesprings thing though. Because a lot of you model YouTubers, well, YouTubers in general, they're switching over to this place called Teesprings. And I guess you get a design and stuff, put that on your shirts and cups and everything else. And then people go and they order through the Teesprings and they ship it from wherever they have it. Because they're all over the world, so shipping's a little bit cheaper. But, but Jason, send me a text about what you mean about my t-shirts. I will be wearing mine. Um, I think my little girl might be wearing one of mine too. She does have one. So, but as far as bringing some over to sell, eh, as long as they don't check my luggage. <laughs> hey, why are you taking fifty t-shirts over to the UK? Uh, I get dirty fast. I don't know. <laughs> I do it all the time. Great technique. And I do like the leopard spotting. I did do it on my first layout. So if you guys get really bored, you can go way back, way, way back, almost over a year ago when I first did my rock cliff thing. So, and it was all done the same thing. I was all leopard spotting. So, and whatever. And anyone want to wager? <laughs> Mr. Jack Jack's going to put up the bets. Says he's going to do some scenery on his layout. I think maybe he's going to do it, so I have to make him a, a willow tree. Might be what he's doing, so who knows. But, guys, I think I've hit an hour. Yeah, hey, that's not too bad for restarting the stream and everything else, too. So, I've pretty much said everything I've got to say. If you guys have something more to say about painting rocks and your techniques, go ahead and throw it up there now. Or, if you do, just want to say how many followers you guys have following your channel and saying your goodnights and goodbyes. And we will all see each other tomorrow night on Hot Rod Rodney's channel, 7 p.m. Eastern. And then don't forget, Friday night, we got our cousin Vinny, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I have no idea what the guy's doing. I said something about a ruler and how to read it, so maybe he's got one and he can tell us how to read one. A scale ruler. It's got so many numbers and stuff on it. I couldn't tell you how to read that thing. Not at all. So, Stu Structures, great stream. Glad I made it in. I'm glad you popped in too, buddy. And Lee, I just got here. You're an hour late, man. You're going to have to watch the re replay. Hopefully, the re watch it in about an hour and a half when YouTube actually gets it all fixed. Because there was quite a bit of buffering at the beginning of this one, I guess. So. Barnabas Junction Model Railway 2,399, one more for 2,400. Guys, if you are not watching Barnabas Junction right there, get him up to 2,400. That's awesome. That That's a cool number. I've never painted a rock. I've painted plaster and never a rock. I can say that. Ron Piskel has 235. Important updates are pending on your computer. Pick a time, remind me later, or restart now. <laughs> My life in a nutshell right there, I'm telling you. Remind me later. Get off my screen. Go away. Come on, get going. There it goes. So, Corey Page has 152. Stu Structures has 291. Kenward Griffin Jr., nice to see you in here, buddy. 89. Union Central Systems, 340. Jonathan, a 66. Corey Page has 52. Dave Piper, 121. Jack Jack has 424. Look at those numbers. 1, 2, 1, 4, 2, 4. I almost feel like I should be playing the lottery tonight. Chasco, 139 for him. BNSF 6951 saying later, everybody. Talk to you Friday night. Maybe even tomorrow night, Thursday night. 
EJ and E Jeff has 225. Container Man 68 has 681. Come on, guys, check out Container Man 68. Get him up there. He is so close to 700. Corey Page 54. Ron Pisco, I might do a giveaway for my 250 subs. That's awesome. What am I gonna win? Let me know, Ron. I like winning stuff. NSVA Train Man, 45 subscribers. I will have a surprise soon. New stuff. Cool. And good show, little bro. Thank you, big bro. I'm going to have to start calling you the wise bro. Starting to give some good advice. Dave Atkins, sub to you, Jason. So check each other out. Check everybody's channel out, guys. If you're not sure about somebody, check them out. PDRE -E Engineer, 14 now. And Alex Brockway now has 27. D and RGW Iron Horse Root, 45. Uh, and there's guys, there's some small channels in here. If we all check them out, we can get them all up to 65 at least. Jonathan Davenport, if I get to 100, I add trees to the layout. Hey, that's a cool thing to do. If I get to 100, I'll add trees. That's a, that's a good way to do it, my friend. I like that. My YouTube Tuesday show, one episode is one year old today. I did an anniversary special last night. I know, Barnabas, and you did it when I'm at work. You always do them at 3 o'clock. My time. But that's what I got to get. I got to watch the replay yet, buddy. But I did see it was on there. I did tune in for about five minutes of it, and then I had to go back to work. So <coughs> SMT main lines in here. Corey Page, Papa's Models 2. 1K giveaway is still open on his channel. It's an easy one, too, guys. You just If you've already been subscribed to him, all you have to do is say, I'm in. So... There we go. Wow, thanks. Barnabas Junction, 2,404. Sweet. Guy went up five just in five minutes. Not even. So, OVR Trains. Good night, Sparky. And good night, Lauren. Thanks for helping me out tonight, bud. That was awesome. Picking a number for me. And, uh, guys, you guys got to check out OVR Trains, too. He's got a brand new layout he's just put in his basement. And his layout is actually the whole... I'm trying to do my layout from New York to Chicago. What Lauren is doing, I believe, is from our area, like St. Thomas, but he's not doing St. Thomas, over to Niagara Falls. But it's still the Casio line, I believe. So I actually have to talk to him about it. But I think he's actually modeling the same thing I am, just in a larger scale, but a smaller area of it. Does that make any sense? Kind of did to me. So, 98 away from 1,000. That's Mackie Outdoors. McKay Outdoors. So, 98 more. Hitting 1,000. 1,000 1, is an awesome milestone. It's the one of the biggest ones you hit is 100. After that's 1,000. And I'll let you know what the one after that is because I'm not sure. So, but guys, that's it for me. David Atkins, good night. And good morning, and have a good, and he's got to go. So, and I do too, guys. It's a little bit after eight o'clock, twelve minutes after. So, I had an awesome time. Uh, sorry about the buffering tonight. Uh, like I said, sometimes it's got to be a YouTube thing. But anyway, we got that fixed. I just, like I said, I now know I can just restart my stream and I come right back into my own live stream. So that's kind of cool. Well into Buffalo, two thousand and four to present day with about 18 miles of the former Casio track, which is my line, the one I'm doing. So we'll have to do that. I'll have to do my layout, run trains on that, and then for a highlight video, we'll run over to his and do a, like a close-up of an area. Hey, what a thought. So, but like I said, that's it for me, guys. You guys keep saying goodnight, and I'm going to try to find the end stream button and call it a night for me. And I guess the good part about tonight is I don't have a really big mess to clean up. I just got a couple paint bottles to put away and put a lid on a bottle. That I can do right now. There. Now my Dr. Pepper won't go flat. Perfect. And thank you very much. We got, like I said, Ralph Greenwood. We got RDMT, Container Man 68. And Valley Brook Railroad, all 
did super chats tonight. I wrote all the amounts down. Well, Ralph Wood, Greenwood didn't do it tonight, but he gave me the idea to do it. All the super chats, 100%, will be going to the dining car experience. I do have a family of four in mind to put that to, but I have to communicate that a little bit more to them or to you guys or something. So, but when this gets up a little bit more too, because if it's a family of four, that's $300 American I'm going to need. When it gets to that, I will contact that person if you guys want me to do it that way. I'm, I'm sure it will be go that way, but hey. And uh, we'll get some more people to the dining car experience. That should be cool. Barnabas Junction Model Railway putting up the Facebook group. So guys, check out that link right now. Hit that link. Go check it out. Really cool group. I'm a member of that group, and I'm pretty sure August 10th, you're going to see my ugly mug on that Facebook page right there in person. Right there. Check it out. Barnabas Junction Model Railway. Facebook group. Do it now. Right now. Because I'm going to click end stream right now. So if you guys do that right now, you won't see me hit end stream. Right? You're not missing anything. Well, you're missing the Facebook group. Anyway, I'm just yammering, as Chuck would say. So have a good night, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And I had a lot of fun. And bye for now.